So forgive my hairdo, but I just needed it out of my face. Cause I'm gonna recreate this I look over here because I've had lots of compliments on it today. So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial and show y'all. This is using the Uh Huh Honey by ColourPop. I use this palette and there you go. Here's the palette. I will swatch it for you. I'll go across. The first one is Stinger. The second one is Sunburst. And the third one is Sweet Spot. I'm gonna swatch as bright as it is. There we go. Then the next row down is going to be, let's see, Dandy, Palooza, and Queen Bee. Okay, and then our bottom row is going to be Totally Buggin', Oh Behave, and Buzzkill. Okay, so it's all of them swatched. So I went in, I took just a um, AOA brush and just another brush I had um, and then um, an AOA E16 this is the AOA E129 in case you wanted to know they're a dollar a piece on shopmissa.com so I went in first with Buzzkill just a little bit on this brush and just put it in the crease I'm just using this as our transition shade, our transition color, just to give a little depth into, because you're using a lot of yellow, so you need a little bit of depth with it. Oh, and black eyeliner, and I'll show you what I did with that. So, let's get that really good in that crease, just back and forth, windshield wiper motions. You can close your eye if you need to. I like it better if you keep your eye open because you see where the product goes. You see that placement of the brush. And if you have hooded eyes, kind of like I do, that come down a little bit, you're gonna want it above the actual crease anyway. And so you can see that better by doing it like this, with your eye open and going straight in. Don't go in at an angle or a curve or anything like that. Pick up the product, tap it off if you need to, and then go straight in. Okay, just kind of loosey-goosey, just back and forth, windshield wiper motions, and it gets that crease really dark, okay? Then I'm gonna go in with the other brush, and I'm going to pick up Sweet Spot, okay? Just on the back of this brush, just like that. I'm gonna close my eye, because I'm putting it all over my lid, okay? Just pat it on all over your lid, just pat it on. Just pat, 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 pat that color on. You wanna pack it on there really good because that's gonna be your base for what's coming next. Then in Palooza, which is this, which is just a pressed glitter, okay? It's just a pressed glitter. So I'm gonna take my finger and I'm not flicking you off, but I am using my middle finger. And then you're gonna just dab it on right here, okay? When you're using pressed glitters, it's a lot easier to do it with your finger, okay? Bring it down some, okay? Just like that. Now, I'm gonna go into the corner a little bit and I'm gonna pick up this sunburst right here. Just pick it up on the tip of this. This can go in the inner corner, just like that. I can brighten that one up too since I've had it on all day. But there you go, you just brighten that up and then I'm gonna run a little bit under the brow bone, okay? Just like that, easy peasy. Then I've got a single shadow um, called Stranger from ColourPop as well. I went in with my NYX Professional um, Makeup Eyeliner Waterproof in black, okay? So 
just tight line that water line. Tight line it down here. Just like that. And then I take my angled brush and I go into my single shadow and I run it along the lash line. As close to the lash line as you can get, okay? Top and bottom. Okay, just like that. Now, if you want to punch this color up and punch this look up, you can go in and we're gonna go in with this brush again and I'm gonna go in with Sweet Spot. Okay, put it on the tip of the brush and you can run that on the bottom and then connect it out to the side. Okay, and that's just gonna give you a little more of a punch of the yellow underneath. So that is just a quick, easy tutorial um, using Uh Huh Honey from ColourPop. And I love ColourPop's eyeshadows. Um, they last all day, they don't crease. If you set with um, an eye primer or something like that, I haven't found they crease too bad. And um, yeah, I just really enjoyed playing with the yellows and golds in this to match this cute little top that I just got. So I just thought it'd be a fun look to do and got several compliments on it today. I wore it all day. Um, so I thought I'd just do a quick tutorial on it um, in case anybody had bought the Uh -huh Honey palette or you had some golds and some yellows and you weren't quite sure how to wear it and how to make it wearable. Um, because a lot of times people look at these colors and they're scared to death because I mean, that's a lot of yellow happening and they're scared it's going to make them look jaundice or it's going to wash them out or you know any of that it doesn't if you do it right if you get that depth in there that's when we use that darker shade as our transition shade so you get the depth in there right above your crease line then you can play with the rest of it and it softens it and evens it out and makes it a very wearable look for daytime um maybe not the glitter so much for daytime if you're not into glitter for daytime if you don't want to use the glitter for daytime for this look, go in with Dandy. This one right here. Just got a tiny bit of sparkle. Let's see if it'll show up over here. Yeah. See, it's got a little bit of that shimmer sparkle, but it's not the pressed glitter like this. So you can kind of see the difference in those. Um, so you could do something like that instead. And if you wanted to, if it's still, you're still a little worried, go in with a stinger right here. You can put that from lash line to um, your eyebrow. Put that all over your lid and that then go in with the buzz kill. Then that will give you even more depth and make it even more wearable. So anyway, just a quick little eye tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and Again, this is the Uh-Huh Honey Palette from ColourPop. I used the NYX Professional Eyeliner. I used a single black shadow called Stranger and it's from ColourPop as well. And just three little brushes that I had. And honestly, if you want me to be truly honest with you, I probably could have done this look with two brushes. I probably could have used these two or I just could have used these two. And it'll save you on brushes as well if you want to do it that way. Just wipe them off between um, colors and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you guys soon. Okay, bye.